Okay, I got this winch here. It's a Warren M8000. And this knob is supposed to engage or disengage the motor. So right here is engaged. It is motor only. And then you're supposed to turn it counterclockwise, which would disengage the motor so you can free spool the cable out without running the motor the whole time. But this one, turn it that far and then it just stops. So I'm going to tear this cover off and see what the problem is. Hopefully it's simple and will be an easy fix, but... First impressions, that is pretty rusty, and there's quite a bit of gunk built up on those teeth. I figured this will be a good time to kind of show you guys how this winch works. This is pretty much standard for most winches, not model specific. So, you have the motor over here, and this shaft is hooked directly to the motor, but it is not connected to the spool at all. It's just right to the motor, nothing to the spool. That shaft slides through this whole planetary gear setup, and it attaches to this which drives through here, which drives into here, which drives into here, which that connects to the spool and actually pulls your cable in and out. And that is just a gear reduction to get lower RPMs and more torque. And this piece, which is what was stuck, slides into the case if i can oh gosh okay and those teeth match up with ones in there in the case so when this is pushed all the way down it is locked on to where the only thing that can turn the spool of cable is the motor running through the whole planetary gear setup then to disengage it this knob has a cam, turn it, and it pops this up to where, to where it's no longer engaged onto the case and can just sit there and free spool to where you can pull your cable out easily. So that's the basics of how this setup works. Day two, so last night I sprayed this down with PB Blaster and now it's soaked overnight, so hopefully It'll break loose now. Yes! Woohoo! Yeah! Got that out. So, <laughs> do a little assessment. That is actually taped on there super tight. It does come off, but around here, yeah. All that dark spot, that does not come off. That's actually rusted. So what happened was, this winch sat outside probably for a long time and never got used. So water eventually got in through the seals and rusted this. And the rust expanded and made it tight so it wouldn't come out. So, trick... 
for um, keeping your winch, not letting this happen to it, is just every now and then go out, maybe run the motor a little bit, turn the lever, engage it, disengage it, and if you ever feel it getting tighter, this is a really simple setup. You could leave it on your Jeep, pull out like a dozen screws here, this pops out, and just clean it and re-grease it. It's super simple. There's no way you can mess it up, and it'll keep it working forever. I'm going to give all of these parts a real good clean, and I'm going to sand just hand sand all of these contact surfaces to get rid of the rust and then put her back together. Got some grease here and just going to start just lubing everything up. Put some grease down in this groove here. And note um, when you put this together, one end has the teeth are tapered. Make sure that goes in first, it'll help it line up easier. So the winch is now completely reassembled. That is turning like butter. Got temporarily put on the Jeep. Test the motor. Okay, that's working. Now, first pull. It's a little bit tight, but there it goes. Free spools right out. I need to mount that. Re-engage it. Wrong way. Winds back up. Yep. So, that was a mission successful. And thank you all for watching. Hope this video uh, helped you out. Maybe you learned something from it. And... Now that winch is ready for years of reliable operation. So, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye.